What's up, everyone? Welcome to Apocalypse Movies. My name is Jake Blinn, and I am joined by Brian Avalicino, and we are here to do a non-spoiler review for Blade Runner 2049. So we haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, the reason being is because uh, we thought it'd be a good idea to get a shorter, to-the-point review out there as soon as we possibly can, and then go full in spoilers depth talk uh, later on this weekend after everyone's gotten a chance to see the movie, because, quite frankly, this movie has a boatload of stuff to talk about and we just can't go without talking about spoilers we're gonna try our best here um so try. if we yeah we're gonna try our best here it's non-spoilers we're not gonna touch anything that's serious and the problem is is that almost everything in this movie is not is a spoiler everything like there is there's not really anything in this movie that um that you know isn't spoiler territory and so we're basically just going to talk about our overall experience with the movie expectations um how we felt afterwards uh, maybe give a number at the end. We may have saved that for the all spoiler review. Um, but so Brian, we we were pretty excited for this movie. Yeah. Um, I for one was blown, you know, uh, just excited and, and pumped up to see what this new Blade yeah. Runner would be about. Uh, we we finally watched the the original last night. You had never seen it before. No. Nope. Um, so we watched it the day before checking out the new one. Um, I had seen it, but I was I was in the min minority of people who just didn't like the movie. Uh, first, I was confused by it, didn't really know what it was about. I've kind of liked it over the three or four times I've watched it. Um, but so th those are my expectations. I had high expectations, obviously, because you have guys like Denis Villeneuve directing, mm -hmm. Ryan Gosling, Harrison Ford returning, Robin Wright, who you absolutely love. Um, Big fan. And so there were so many things on paper that, that this film was like, it's going to be the best film of the year, oh. period. Um were those kind of how your expectations were running beforehand? I don't think I was as far as best film of the year, only because it's a Star Wars year, which, I mean, every year we're getting those now, though. But um, I definitely was looking forward to it a lot. Just from the commercial commercials, I wanted more. Yeah. The whole entire time. It's, it's something that, I don't know, the commercials, I guess, were... If we look back on the TV spots and trailers now, we can probably pick out all the spoiler stuff going on in there. And they probably revealed really a lot more than we thought it would. Probably. I think, honestly, it was so long. Yeah. But not in a bad way, either. Uh, that I, there, we would literally have to look th through the commercials to even remember what, what yeah. that happened or yeah. what came from that. Yeah, so we finally got to sit down and watch this movie. And, and you know, it's a lot to process. We're still processing it. There's going to be things that we can't touch on. Uh, because we're going to be trying to think about everything going on in this movie. For me, I absolutely love this movie. Yeah. Absolutely love this movie. There's, to be honest, it's probably the closest to perfect movie I've seen in the last maybe couple of years. Um, de definitely since like 2015. And it's just, it's a film that has so much going for it. Not just on the storyline, not just on the actors and, and actresses and their performances. The cinematography is probably the best I've ever seen. Oh, the, easily. The use of the score, the old score in a new edition, is some of the best I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. um, and just the things like the camera work and the little things in the background. And there's so many things in this movie to love and enjoy. You'll never be bored. You'll never be dull from what's going on. You're always thinking and interested and like wondering what the hell is going to happen next. Yeah. And there's twists and turns everywhere. And, and as far the as the whole time, as far as a film standpoint, that's exactly what you want. Yeah, no, there. It was one of those movies that kept you entertained from start to finish. Literally, the whole entire movie looked real. It was yeah. is insane because well, and it's in twenty forty nine, and yeah. obviously we're not in twenty forty nine. Yeah, or, or even at the level close to it, it just every single thing looked real, and every single character played their part perfectly to the T. And everyone was in it the perfect amount of time without spoiling anything. <laughs> it's just, it was f fantastic. I mean, I, I, I don't think I liked it as much as you did, but it was, from a movie point, amazing. Yeah, no, it's, it's uh, yeah, I think, I think I did like it a little bit more. Yeah. Um, but I think we're going to hold off on as far as rating numbers until our spoiler discussion. Okay. Um, we're going to try and get that up on Sunday. Uh, that way everybody's got a chance to see that. Um, it will be lengthy, but again, this film has so much to talk about. We're going to be writing stuff down and thinking about things over the next couple of days. But as far as our overall experience, we both enjoyed the living hell out of this oh, movie. Yeah. It is um, one of the best movies of the year. It'll end up as one of the best movies of the year. 
Um, there's a reason it came out now. There's a reason it had so much hype around it. There's a reason why critics are throwing around the word masterpiece for this movie. Yeah. Um, Award winning? Ah, oh, man, that is... I, I think so. I think... It's going to win something. The one category it will win is cinematography. Oh, easily. Cinematography. If it doesn't, they I think rocked. it's a guarantee that the cinematography is a win. If it's not, then there is something crazy going on as yeah. far as the Academy goes. Um, I think Ryan Gosling can get a chance because he, he was... was fantastic. He was amazing He in this made movie. this movie his movie. He... It, oh. He was... Yeah, so he is really, really... Everyone else is good. He is great in this movie absolutely fantastic in this movie um as long as i mean everyone else as well and your your robin wright is fantastic as well harrison ford the return of of deckard uh did is he a is he a uh a robot is he not a robot we'll have to find out in a spoiler discussion let us know in the comments if you've seen the movie what you think of it um what you thought of it you know do you want to talk about it are you going to come back for a spoiler discussion let us know um we're down to talk more blade runner Ryan, final thoughts on the movie, and uh, how excited are you to talk spoilers for this movie? I, I, this is <laughs> driving me nuts not being able to talk about it. Let's put it that way. You can't. This is one of those movies you can't say one thing about it because it's going to spoil something else, and that's the best kind of movie. So yeah, no, so look out for that. It'll be up in the next couple of days. We're excited to talk about that. Um, it's going to be lengthy. We're going to get into depth about it. Uh, but before we go, Brian, thank you for joining me. Let them know where you can find you online, man. You can find me on everything at TG Scoops. Uh, Jake Berlin, uh, at Qui-Gon Jake on Twitter and Instagram. ApocalypseMovies.com every day on this YouTube channel. Check out everything we got going on. As well, if you go see this movie in Cinemark, you get these really cool posters. Dope. Really, really cool posters. So go ahead and check those out. Uh, the giveaway three of them. We both snagged all three of them, no, of course. Um, so again, thank you for joining me. And until next time, take care.